Riley, congratulations on that win. Um, a really impressive last lap by all um, three of you in contention. Just take us through um, those final laps from your vantage point and, and really kind of where you made the move to take um, take home the win. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, yeah, it's a, that was impressive. That was – I impressed myself. I was proud of that drive right there. I, uh, I don't remember – I. I got off turn four, and I was probably about a second, second and a half behind the double zero, and I knew I was better than him. I just had an inch, inch, inch towards him. Um, and there for a second, about four to go, I didn't think I was going to get it. I, I just thought I was getting tight, and it was going to be tough. And then um, three to go, I made a big, big jump on him in a gain. I was like, okay, we got a shot at it. Um, and then coming to two to go, I got to his inside off a of four, and I had the momentum, and I, I was like, okay, cool. Well, we got it. And then um, he said bottom of three, and I was like, what in the world? Where, what do you mean? And I look at my mirror, and the 20s just got a ginormous run off the top. And I was like, oh. So luckily I cleared the double zero into turn one. Um, and I, I think the best two cars were myself and the double zero. So I knew I was better than the 20. It was just a matter of time if um, I had enough time to get him. And I wanted my move out of turn two. That's where I've gotten most of my people. I didn't really want to pass them where I passed them in the short shoot just because it's so hard to complete a pass in the short shoots because they can jump back on your outside and you, uh, you can get loose, as you saw me get loose in four. And when I was sideways, I thought it was over. I was wrecked. Um, I went kind of through a Hail Mary and it stuck. I just cranked the wheel to the, to the right and went wide open and somehow I could drive out of it. Um, and then just broke the draft off a of four to the to the line, but that was cool. That was a lot of fun. This is this is iconic. This is the place that you dream of coming just to watch a race, and let alone be here. I just won, so that's pretty cool. All right, we'll go ahead and take questions for Riley. If you have one, go ahead and raise your hand. We're going to work to get a mic. Round two, guys. We'll start with Kelly, and then work our way around. Go ahead, Kelly. Kelly Crandall, Racer. Uh, Riley, speaking of the last lap, the move you made on. Eric, have you seen it yet of how sideways you were? And can you just describe that feeling, um, making contact with him and how sideways you were through the corner to complete the pass? Yeah, I, the biggest thing is my center roll speed. If I just tell you right there, I rolled to him so fast in three, and I actually rolled too fast. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to pass him in the short shoot. I wanted him off a of four um, just because I, I knew that was going to happen. Because a few laps earlier, AJ did the same thing to me, just put it right at my door, and I almost wrecked in two that. Uh, three that one lap so um, yeah I, I haven't seen it but my buddy Zane Smith walked to uh, victory lane and he was like dude that was impressive I thought you were wrecked and I was like really and he showed me a photo and I'm at a pretty big yaw so uh, that was cool that I got out of that for sure I don't know how I did it if I had to do it again but that's what we train for it's just instincts and um, just lucky to have the opportunity and able to capitalize on it that's kind of been my mentality these last months is I have so much opportunity in front of me. I'm, I'm on the best race team. I'm in the best race car. I have the best crew chief, and it's on me to capitalize. It's on me to step on these opportunities and take them, and luckily we were able to grab one today. And going back to the uh, the move, uh, the winning move um, off of th through three, you said you'd have to go back. You don't know how you did it, but like, how much of it was instinct or just keeping your foot in it? Was it, was it something you were doing with the wheel, or was it just... You just hope for the best and just held it to the floor. I mean, I think it's a little bit of everything, right, Nate? Like, I knew how much faster I could roll the center than the 20. I drove to him all day. Like, I was like, the center is not going to be the issue. It's about putting my run where I want my run, and I failed at that. I wanted my run in the center of four, and I got it in three. But then when I got to his bumper and got him loose, I couldn't check out check out of the gas because I knew the double zero was about four back. And so if I lifted off of three to like try to build my run back up, A, I didn't think I was going to get my run back in four. And I think the double zero was going to capitalize on me. So when I, I just rolled so fast through three that I had to make that move. And um, yeah, we kind of like touched on entry, got me really loose. And I just like drove out of it. And I was like, it's, it's for the brickyard. And I just went wide open and so thankful that we were, have the restrictor plate on it because I don't think it would have stuck if we were unlimited power. 